Lloyd, thank you so much for that. We have a few more questions and actually somehow Kelly Jackson, I apologize. More people are coming on and you've been bumped down the list. So I'm going to move you back up and Kelly, I'm going to ask you to unmute uh, Kelly Jackson. And if you would unmute yourself and we'd love to hear, have your question. Thank you. Okay. Well, I do try to be conscientious and, you know, I, I keep Alice in my car, so I don't always have to depend on my phone for um, GPS, but I was wondering if we don't have a TV and we just use our computer and we transfer our wireless Wi-Fi to be able to like watch one TV show before we go to bed and we plug our cell phones in another room, is that somewhat safe in this day and age like to, to do that, you know, just use our wireless Wi-Fi for one or two shows a day? And because I, I do, we do try to limit our exposure okay. to yeah. electronics. Okay, thank you. Um, so yeah, that's it's a, that's a great question because so I've prepared, I've uh, shared quite a lot of information here for those of you that have been on since the beginning, and it might sound a little brutal to some of you what I'm suggesting, and um, but I'm not saying you know you should be right up there now. You, it's like um, it's something to aim for this rigorous EMF protection, as I call it, and that's what you need to keep in mind there kelly is that you you know you're trying to mitigate your exposures it's always a trade again it's a trade-off because we want to live life enjoy it and wireless is tremendously convenient but then when we understand what it does to our bodies what it does to our minds then we you know then do we really want that and well yeah actually i do want to watch you know that really great show on netflix or whatever uh, so can i have my cake and eat it well kind of yeah but not totally so we're always looking to and you know what you've described there i'm not saying yeah you're fine and nobody can say that you know no doctor no building biologist no scientist because there's no black and white with this ems but we're always trying to do what we can to reduce our exposures and looking you know uh, like you've, you know, there's really some really smart things you can do, like you've shared here, actually, there's really good tips of, uh, you know, downloading stuff, and then, you know, putting it on your TV, and then, yeah, you are exposed to blue light, which is another form of EMF, by the way, which is also, I've not had time to talk about that, but that impacts us uh, tremendously, particularly blue light at night, there's a lot of research on that, so, you know, when you've downloaded your movie whatever it is from netflix and then you go and you chill out and you watch it in an evening you're exposing yourself to blue light in an evening and then we've got a whole load of other problems and you know in this day and age unless you're going to live go and live like a, a caveman then you are going to be exposed to this emf toxin and lots of other toxins um so we're trying to minimize this EMF toxin, particularly because the research that I've done and the other people and, you know, I'm just standing on their shoulders of giants, really, on this whole thing um, is showing very clearly that these exposures um, are, you know, causing um, these very serious adverse uh, biological effects and that downstream, you know, there's this link to, to, to diseases. So, yeah. So great what you're doing. Carry on and carry on in that vein. Thank you. Lloyd, thank you. We have a, a few more questions. And this next person, please forgive me if I'm butchering your name. I'm going to give it a try. I don't know if it's a Baja or Beha or something else, but hopefully you recognize uh, that I'm asking you to unmute now. And uh, if you would go ahead and give us your question as well. Uh, hello. Thank you for your, uh, for your lecture. I want to ask about the safety of uh, earphones and uh, uh, Bluetooth headsets. Uh, are they safe? So, um, are headsets safe? That's what I understood. Um, uh, iPhones and headsets, I'm not sure uh, exactly. I, 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 um, I, if I could jump in, I think he believed he asked if Bluetooth headsets are safe. Right. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. Uh, so, Bluetooth headset. So, the thing to understand about Bluetooth is that it is this. Uh, you know, evil enemy, radio frequency, <laughs> microwave radiation, what I've been talking about since the beginning. And you know how I keep insisting on like the fall because it's got this word microwave in it. So, it, oh yeah, microwave, what, you mean like microwave oven? Yes, that exactly like that, but only worse most probably because, um, because of the nature of this signal. So 
it's, you know, these frequencies are complex and getting more complex as time goes by, as this technology involves. And as I said, we're moving into 5G, which is even more complicated. But um, Bluetooth is radio frequency microwave radiation, but it is low level by definition because Bluetooth doesn't go far. So it's not a very powerful signal, but it is still this signal which is complex, which is non-natural, which is polarized, which is modulated, which is pulsed, which is all these horrible things, does these very non-natural things, stresses our bodies, stresses our minds. Um, but it's low level. But that's what the industry is saying. But it's low level. It's okay. It's low level. It's low power. You're fine. But that's not what the science is saying. It's not about the power. Um, so it is low level, but it's not about the power. And the thing is, it's right next to your head. So Bluetooth, you know, if you've got a Bluetooth um, lawnmower, that's, you know, just stuff to our head. I know Bluetooth, they're putting Bluetooth on every darn thing. Um, but, you know, a Bluetooth lawnmower, then that's one thing because you're not putting your head next to the lawnmower. But with a headset, it's designed to go on your head. You know, this is a headset. It's wired. Um, so it's not emitting. So even here, I've got some electrical fields and some magnetic fields, but it's low level. Um, and it's not this bad guy, this radio frequency microwave radiation, um, which I'm putting right next to my head. So in my book, to be avoided.